Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and welcome to the new Let's Play, where I'm going to be playing Octopath Traveler. Now, um, this is a really cool game that, uh, it was sort of the progenitor of the HD 2D look that we've since seen in games like Live Alive, and then the Dragon Quest 3 remake that's going to be coming out, and whatnot. And, of course, Octopath has its own sequel, uh, the new, there's a new, uh, Star Ocean 2 remake that looks like this. So, obviously, it's a really cool game. This is sort of what I imagined RPGs would look like when I was a kid in the future, you know? So, um, I played through this once on Twitch, like, basically when the Steam version first came out. This is initially only out for the Switch, and now it's kind of, like, on everything. Um, and, like, I didn't actually, like, beat the game. Like, basically, the way it works is you pick from one of eight characters. Those are the Octopath Travelers. And once you beat all of the chapters of your the, the first character that you pick's story, you get credits, you know? And you can beat all of their stories, all eight of them. And then once you do that, there's sort of like a final thing. And the structure of this game is actually very similar in, to Romancing Saga 3. And if you've ever played Romancing Saga 3, you kind of know where it can be easy until like the very end. This game's a bit more challenging, but the end was like kind of like a shocking turn of difficulty, and um, I screwed up on the last boss. I didn't uh, split the party in the proper way that I was planning to do. I made a mistake, and that led to me losing. And I could have just tried it again, but it was really kind of upsetting because I had to go through something like eight super bosses leading up to it with no save in between. So it was like a lot of content that I would have to redo and I was sort of like ready to move on to the next thing and I always thought I could just go back you know like maybe grind up a little or, or just go back and just make better choices with the pie party and you know like the initial plan was that I would like stream it on like discord or something and I just never got around to it I just sort of like put the game out of my mind and then recently you know um, I started thinking about it again because of Octopath 2 coming out and how much fun this game actually is, and I really wanted to go back and, and replay it. Uh, so I'm gonna do it for YouTube. We might make some better choices and everything um, in terms of like secondary and tertiary jobs and whatnot, but let's let's play, let's start a new game. So when I first went through this, my thought was, because they they actually spell out Octopath. See, O for Ovelia, C for Cyrus, right? T, Tressa, Oct, O, Ulberic. P, Primrose. It should be an A right here, right? Alfin, right? And a T. Prutherian, and an H. Hanit. And they all have their own different gameplay styles. And I'm going to just introduce them to you. So here's um, Ophelia. Your name is Ophelia, and you're a cleric. You hail from the snow swept frostlands where you dutifully serve the Order of the Flame under your adoptive father, the Archbishop. As your adoptive sister and best friend prepares to embark on a perilous pilgrimage, you stand ever at her side, but unbeknownst to the both of you, events are about to take a tragic turn. Your name is Cyrus, and you're a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dam, and though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There is so much more I could learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the Royal Library, piquing your insatiable curiosity. So a cleric, a scholar, then we have... Tressa. Your name is Tressa, and you were a merchant. You stock the shelves of your parent shop in your sleepy seaside hometown, yet you often find yourself gazing out at sea, longing for something more. What lies beyond the horizon? You thought you'd never know the answer. Then one day an unfamiliar vessel weighs anchor at the docks, changing your life forever. Your name is Ulbrich, and you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today you serve as a master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you night after restless night. I'm going to move the game over slightly. Just slightly. Then one day you overhear a name from your past, giving you a new purpose. Your name is Primrose, and you are a dancer. You ply your trade in the pleasure district of the sun of Sunshade, a town forever shrouded in darkness. In truth, you are the high-born daughter of a once-proud house Azelheart, an identity you conceal from all. Three men bearing the mark of the crow. They took my father from me. But you will have your revenge. This is also showing where each character starts on the map, too. Your name is Alfin, and you are an apothecary. 
You treat the wounded and sick in, small in, this, in a small village amid the babbling brooks of the Riverlands. Stricken ill as a child, you are saved by a traveler who asks for nothing in return, inspiring you to follow in his footsteps. Though hesitant to leave the only home you've ever known, your best friend convinces you to follow your dream, wherever it may lead you. And Therian. Your name is Therian, and you are a thief. While your past is a guarded secret, your exploits are known far and wide. Mere whispers of your extravagant heist strike fear into the hearts of the wealthy. Drifting into the Clifflands one day, you hear a rumor of great riches to be had. You set your sights on a mansion said to be impregnable, only to find what you never expected. So initially I thought um, what I would do is start as Ophelia, because I didn't realize that um, the structure of the game was such that the first character you pick is sort of your main character that you never remove from your party and whatnot. And you do all the other stories, but um, I did enjoy Ophelia's story and playing as her. Um, having a healer as the main character was interesting. I did spec her for to do a lot of damage. Somebody came into the stream at one point and was sort of yelling at me about that because he's like, why do you have her equipped with swords? She's the healer. She's a girl. She's not supposed to do damage. And I'm like, what kind of bullshit is this? And then I had her like attack an enemy and he was like, oh my God, how is she doing that much damage? What have you done to her? And I'm like, she's a badass. Um, but I think for a second playthrough and a playthrough that I want to be very successful, I would like my... I would like my main character to actually be... Um, oh, I never met Hanit, did I? Did I read Hanit? I read Therian, and I didn't read Hanit. Let's do this. Your name is Hanit, and you are a hunter. One of the last descendants of an ancient clan that calls the Deep Forest home. Your prowess with the bow is unmatched. Your master left home one year ago, summoned to hunt a dread beast, and you protected the village, awaiting for your return. Then one day, the return of an old friend gives you cause for return, and you strike out on a journey on your own. So I actually would like to start as Therian. They also each have their own talents. Um, they have path actions and talents. Talents are something that they do in battles, and path actions are something that do they do on the fields. And Ophelia's um, got like the summon talent, but she's also got the path action of guide, which lets you get characters, the NPCs to follow you, and it can be kind of useful here and there. But the most useful path action of all is stealing. And I always like to play a thief. So we're going to play as Therian. The usual. Cream soda? Lots of cream, lots of soda. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny. Oh, it's vibrating. I'm going to have to turn that off. Thought I had that turned off. But then again, I did just reinstall it. And I had to set the video options again. I heard that thief's at it again. Really? What's he done this time? Lifted everything off a merchant, leaving the girls maybe. Guess he didn't get his till at that fancy manor the other day. Still can't believe he made it past all those gods. I'm sure the more the better for him. They were more like decorations than actual guards. They talk about me. Ain't no point swooning over someone else's back. And you always see this. Like, if I pick somebody else, when you meet him and he joins you, you get his backstory and it does like a flashback. So you don't miss any content. Someday we'll make it as big as that thief, and then we'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> Stealing's really you strong on this. Partner. Partners in crime, huh? I'll turn off that vibration. I hate vibrating controllers. It was ten years ago. Our paths crossed in a particularly dingy gal. I remember that meeting well. After all, it had quite the influence on my career. It's vibrating again. Oi! Oi, get in! I hate when they only say part of it. Not even a please. Ah. You won't last long in here with that foul mouth, whelp. No, you seem to be doing just fine. 
bitch slapped. Terrible. Slam! And it's vibrating. Impudent brat, you'll learn your manners the hard way, just like the rest. Hi. I see you got the same warm welcome I did. And who are you? A no-good tea leaf who got caught in the act, just like yourself. Oh, really? Just like me, huh? Well, you look a lot worse. <sighs> well, get used to seeing this ugly boat, because I ain't getting prettier anytime soon. These guards think they can beat the attitude out of us. And they don't go easy on no one here, least of all teapots like us. Sounds about right. So, ready to be a good little boy and play nice with the guards? Huh. Are you? No. Nope. And I don't plan on staying here until they change my mind. See, I got me a pin here to unlock the door. Hey. Hey, what do you think you're... Mm. A little busy right now. Here. Try using this instead. <clears throat> the key? Where did you get this? <laughs> Snatch it from the guard once he was all riled up. <laughs> Look at the cobblers on this one. He means balls. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now let's get out of here. The name's Darius, mate. Therion. Therion. Partner. Well, Therion, looks like you and I are officially partners in crime. Fill it up. There you go. Beg pardon. Would you happen to be after them? Ravis's treasure? Ravis's treasure? You are. I suggest you think again. Heard another would be fortune hunter was tossed in dungeons yesterday. So, what's the count now? A score? Maybe more? That means 20. But House Ravis ain't known to be kind to those who covet their wealth. Still, would these can't help but flock to that manor like moths to a flame. Suppose it's all those rumors of their riches that keep them coming. Some say. It's enough to buy up the whole town and then some. Just one town? <laughs> what about the neighbors? Can't say for sure. No one's ever seen the treasure. Even that master thief they keep talking about would have more than his hands full. He means me. A perfect tale for the tavern. Look, when you've been in the business long enough, you can tell things at a glance. You're a smart and skilled young man. Probably have a long career ahead of you. That's why I'll say it once more. Stay away from that manor. I'm going to the manor, baby. Thanks for the advice. Next time, I'll have a tale of my own to tell. Hey, you didn't pay for your cream soda. They say that Ravis's ma Ravis Manor is at the top of the mountain. We're only the richest of the rich live. Alright, so we got the radar. I'm well aware of all that. Make for Ravis Manor. Um. Oh, yeah, fast travel. Yeah, we know about that. So you can see, there's my chapter. My chapter one. And if you look around, you can see the map is quite large, but we don't have anything really uncovered yet. Uh, what I want to do is go to my settings, which I'm not quite seeing here. It might be in miscellaneous. Yeah, there we are. And I want to turn off the vibration. And also, um, I just want to make sure that uh, 
vertical sink is on. I'm not actually seeing that as an option now. Mouse, keyboard, gamepad, volume. It should be in graphics. I always want to make sure that vertical sync is on, but I'm not seeing it. Oh well. I hate when games don't have V-Sync. Alright, so let's look around a bit. So this is where we can buy stuff. Oh, yeah, let me let me show you how this works with the equipment and everything. Yeah. So basically, um, the way it works is you will have there. This is all the type, different types of weapons there are. There are swords, pole arms, daggers, axes, bows, and staves, and you can have one of each equipped on each character of anything that they could use. And what they could use is based off of what their job is. Right now, his job is thief, so he could use swords and he could use daggers. It's not one or the other. I have a long sword and I have a dagger, and every time you attack. You're not really attacking, you're choosing an action, so you can choose attack with longsword, or you can choose attack with dagger, or you can choose whatever else. And the way that this works is that each type does a certain type of damage. Swords do sword damage, daggers do dagger damage, staves do stave damage, and, and, and such. Staff damage. So anyway, the way it works is that enemies have, like, shields, basically, where you hit them, and if you do enough... Um, you knock out their shields by hitting their weak points. Some enemies only have one or two weak points, some have a lot. And once you get rid of those shields, they're staggered and then suddenly you can do a lot of damage and that's when you can really unleash on them. If you're just mashing attack and just trying to chip enemies down, it takes a really long time. So let's see, I don't have much money, do I? I have 2,500, okay. So you could see here, um, they have they have Iron Sword, they have Feather Saber. Um, I have arcane. I'm going to get this arcane knife. Okay. And we're going to equip that. And I'm going to sell off... Um... Oh, you can't sell off the base dagger. Oh, wait. What do you mean it's currently equipped? Didn't I equip the... I must have hit the wrong button to equip the uh, arcane. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to sell. So sell the regular dagger here. Okay. So at some point we're gonna want to get, um, you know, the feather saver or great sword. We can't quite uh, get that just yet, but yeah. Shields. He, uh, as you can see, he doesn't really use shields. Well, I can't afford them, is what it is. But I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't really afford anything else. We only have three thirty left, but. We're gonna move around and see what we got. What? You want something from me? Okay. I forgot how to do the path action. I think I think you know what it is, is we haven't seen the tutorial for it yet, so I can't do it just yet. Good day to you. Folk on the middle level are a reasonable lot. At least they don't look down their noses at us like those snooty nobles. Doesn't mean they all think highly of each other though. Eventually it'll tell me like, oh, this is how you do the path option. Which is is stealing. And you want to start stealing from people so that you can get a lot of, like, items and stuff. What is it, young the cliffside stairs will take you down to the commoner's district and get rough down there, so watch yourself. <laughs> Here in Boulder Fall, the poor types live below, the wealthy up top. Us? Guess we're somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not seeing the uh, option for that. But just yet. Okay, this is, a, this is an end. Okay. You can see there's a treasure chest there. The staircase to the east leads to Ravis Manor. It's the most well-guarded place in town, and they turn almost everyone away at the gate. Let's see if I can get over there. Get that chest. There we go. So we got a stinging dagger. I mean, I shouldn't have bought a dagger. Um, well, it's not as good as what I have. I could sell it, but we'll hold on to that for now. Did I talk to you yet? Yeah, I did. Alright. There's a save point. Oh, you can only talk to people if they have a dot 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 above their head. To Welcome to Boulderfall, the largest settlement here in the Clifflands. And this is where you get, like, items and stuff. Okay. 
And this would leave the town, but as you see, there's a sign there. We can't go there yet. We're sort of locked into the current path, which, you know, tutorializes the game. Um, some houses you can go in. I'll take that. Four dollars. You know, between that and selling that other dagger I found, I might be able to get a, a sword. Let me sell the uh, stinging dagger that I have there. Well, it's not exactly worth a lot, but there we go. And that gives me 1680. I can't quite... Oh, I can get an iron sword. Not as good as a feather saber, but it's better than what I have. So let's get that. And that... There we go. That time I did equip, but I must have hit a wrong button. So let me sell the uh, long sword that I have. Which leaves me with 910. Like I said, eventually I'll have the ability to... To, to pickpocket people. Shouldn't take too long to get to that point. Oh, stuck on the stairs. I don't think there's much else to do here other than go up here, which is where we're supposed to go. Rabbis Manor Gate. There is an autosave. So you don't have to worry about, like, if you're not near a safe point. Alright. We got a cutscene here. I did see a treasure chest, but we got a cutscene. What do we have here? If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were overcompensating for something. Small peepee. -pee. Alright. Change posts. Oi. You there. Yes. Yes, sir. Listen up. Stop dragging your feet. Walk with purpose. My yes, sir. <sighs> We're getting paid a fortune for this job. Do it with pride. Not the shadows in this. In the well, depth of field. It's like an army. Just what kind of place is this? The sprite work in battles is really good too. Hmm. Those guard dogs look vicious. And that's not all. The walls are lined with wire. Ah, wire. One false move, and I'll sound an alarm, no doubt. Yep, trying to scale the walls would be more trouble than it's worth. Hmm? What's this now? Listen. What part of no visitors allowed do you not understand? Exactly. The Ravises have more important matters to attend than entertaining riffraff like yourself. Yeah. It won't take long, I swear. I'm merely a merchant looking to... Yeah. A merchant, you say. Prove it. <sighs> Prove what? I came to show the lady of the house some of the finest fabrics in the realm. And we're supposed to just take you at your word? If you can't show us proof, you can go show yourself out. See, I think you have to pickpocket some sort of proof of merchant status, and that's how it teaches you how to do that. But I... Fine, I'll leave. I swear the nerve of these hoity toity types. I think that's what happens. I don't know. It's been a while, you know. Uh -huh. Never thought the front door would be the easiest way in. Time to get my hands on some proof. Alright. Find a way into the manor. Alright, there's an iron helm. Uh, it's got to be better than the leather hat I have, right? Yeah. Good day. All is well around the western gate. Never. This is the residence of House Ravis. No letter of introduction, no entry. That's what it is. You need a letter of introduction. 
not a chance. Those without proper identification are not allowed to pass. Oy. This is the manor of the House Ravis. Only those on official business may enter. Listen up. I train these dogs myself to tear any would-be intruder limb from limb. Isn't that right, boys? Woof, woof. Grr. 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 <laughs> Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. What do we have here? Well, if it isn't our merchant friend. No. Those bloody ravises, don't they know some of us actually have to work for a living? Turned away at the gate, join the club. You too? But why? They're doing it to everyone. Rumor has it they're guarding some great treasure inside. But I'm not after their treasure. I just wanted to show the lady of the house my wares. And they told me I needed proof, as if this sack of silk dresses isn't proof enough. Right. Indeed. You'll need a letter of introdu introduction to get inside. Uh... A letter of what? Truth. House Ravis only does business with the most esteemed merchants and traders. So how can I get one of these letters? It's not easy, that's for sure. First, you'll have to make a name for yourself here in town. Once you've proven yourself a reliable trading partner, then and only then will the Ravises write you a letter. That said, you could count the number of people who've earned one on one hand. Well, that sounds like an awful lot of work. Are you sure there's no other way? Yeah, you can steal one. I can think of at least one. I'll do what thieves Lifting do it from the pocket of someone who's done the work for me. It's like playing Skyrim. I always like playing as thieves. Here, path actions. Okay, it's X. All right. You can't do it to just anybody. It has to be somebody that you can actually talk to. Who ever heard of a merchant needing to prove who they are? What do they expect me to do? Okay, so basically it tells you what you can steal and what the excess rate is. We got an enlightening earring, which is 100%, so we'll just take that. <laughs> I trust you won't be missing this. Hey, yo. The only way to win the favor of the Ravises is with a letter of introduction. All right, all good stuff. Fire soul stone, ice soul stone, wind soul stone, and shadow soul stone. So we can do different types of elemental damage with items there. <laughs> I trust you won't be missing this. Uh, let's go on a stealing rampage. Oh, I got a cutscene. Hmm. This might be combat tutorial, actually. Just out of curiosity, how long do you plan on following me? Yeah, this is combat tutorial. Huh? So you noticed. I can see the whole screen. <laughs> For thieves, you aren't very discreet. You're keener than most, friend. As are we. We can tell you've come for the Ravis fortune. If the army surrounding the matter is any indication, it's more than worth the trouble. And have you actually seen this treasure? We don't need to see it. Just look at what they've done guarding it. What, the, what they've got guarding it. Guards, dogs, traps, you name it, they got it. And you came all this way to warn me. How thoughtful. So. Look, we've got a proposal for you. No thanks. And I've got an answer. No. Listen. Just hear us out, mate. We can help each other. Yeah. My partner's here been inside. He's seen the traps they've set up close. <laughs> Hells, he walked straight into one and set off an alarm. Shut up, you said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Anyway, I got out just fine, and we're here now, so what do you say? It won't be easy to carry all that treasure on your own. We're offering you a helping hand. Nope. I've already got two hands. That's enough for me. Damn you. So you think you're too good for us, is that it? <laughs> I'm a thief, not a nanny. Say again? You're an ungrateful bastard, that's what you are. Are we done here? Listen, I don't have time to entertain you clowns. I have places to be. 
You're not going anywhere. Ah. Bye now. Get out of my sight. Shikes. Are you with me, mate? Speak to me. Hmm. Mate. Oh, another flashback to remembering when somebody Lord. called him mate. Okay, I'm actually going to stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Octopath Traveler.